Welcome to another Win Win Wednesday week 96. Now it's day. Today's going to be a great day. Let's get a Oh, jeez, sorry. Uh, let me fix everything that I just ran into. Sorry, I was too focused looking in my rearview mirror to, uh, you know, pay attention to where I was going. You know, that ended up kind of hurting my shin by running into my island here. Hmm. So, looking in the rearview mirror will cause pain into where you're headed. So by looking behind me and focusing on the stuff behind me, it caused me pain to where I was going, but I was moving forward. But it was because I was focused on the past and what I was looking behind. Hmm. Now, does that not make sense? How your past and looking behind you, looking in your rearview mirror, will hinder you and, let alone, hurt you as you're moving forward. You can be moving forward. You can move forward all day long. But if your mind and your eyes and your heart is focused on the past, you're never going to be able to move forward fast enough and careful enough and happy enough to outdo the negativeness that's in your past. Yes, you can let people go. Yes, you can get rid of people. Yes, you can cut people out. Yes, that is the easy part. Easy. That's the easiest part in this whole aspect. Now, this is where I have people that hit me up. They understand that. They know. You know, that's what they need to do. I help them. I help to show them how to do that. But the problem is, is when those people in the rearview mirror, they start pulling. They start trying to pull you back. They start trying to bring you down. They start talking shit on you. They start saying you're too good for them. You're too, uh, you're too, you're too uh, important. You know, you put yourself on a pedestal. Yeah, they suck. Yeah, because you know they did this, or hey, you know they did that, or hey, you know what this person did. Like, that's all in the past. That, that is the hardest part that people can't let go of. Is they try to remind themselves and the other people that are trying to move forward of, hey, you remember when we had all these good times? Oh, so you're just gonna leave me now? Oh, you're gonna do that? No, screw them. It doesn't matter. Dead weight is dead weight. There is nothing to go better than that. Dead weight is dead weight. All they're gonna do is try to bring you back. If you're moving forward and somebody else is behind you that you just left and they're not trying to grow with you and grow with you on this journey, that's their problem. You don't have to please everybody. You don't have to worry about somebody else's feelings. They have a choice. You, in your life, bam, you're at a crossroads. You are at a Y, you're at a fork in the road, trying to figure out which way you're going to go. But each one of your choices are positive growth and a better journey and happiness and towards that C9 life. Now here's the thing. You guys can all be at that fork in the road. But so many of them, they want to stay comfortable. So they, they're just going to, hey, I'm just going to turn around and go back this way. Like, hey, hey come on. Just come back with me. Come. Yeah, hey, come come back over. Come back this way. It's comfortable. We know this. We know this. Like, we don't want to go do that. that. Now let's go back to partying and drugs and, and, you know, and like being negative all the time and blaming everybody else for all the, everything that we got. Hey, come, hey, come on. Hey. But you know what? The people that do want to change, like, hey, yo, you know what? You know, hold up. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come be with you. You know, let's give this a shot. I'm with you. I'm, I'm, a, I'm your friend. I got you. I'm going to go, go and grow with you. The go and grow method. Remember that. I'm gonna go and grow with you. You know, along with it. That's great. Bring them with you. They can come. There is no limit to amount of people that can be successful and positive and happy and great in this world. The only thing I don't want to see you do is that when somebody's going back that way, you take yourself out of the fork in the road and you start fading off until you fall back into some old ways. If somebody is back there and you decide to go on ahead, you're going to hear the chirp. You're going to hear the chatter of them trying to bring you down when you left them. 
you didn't leave them. They had a choice. They made a decision to not go and not grow with you. They decided to stay a loser. So what? They decided to stay a loser? That's on them. You don't need to please everyone. You don't need to make everyone happy. You need to do what you need to do to be happy. You know, it's just like when I'm working in my garden, when I'm working in, not my garden, my flower bed, when I was working in cleaning up my cattails, I can fit my whole house in my pond. It was overran with cattails so much that I couldn't even see the water. This was a year, year, two years ago. Now here's the thing. It was so thick. It was crazy. I spent over 100 hours over a month cutting them out by hand with a corn knife, which is that curved knife. About that long. Kind of like machete-ish. Corn knife. I get in this mindset, and how I look at the things is that when I started working, I started at one end, and I just started going. I value myself. I value my mindset so much that I would not look back until I was done for that evening. You know why I do that? This is why. And I do this with everything in my life. I don't look back because you can get discouraged. Those cattails were so thick. God, they were so thick. Just, and then it was wide. It was so wide that it would take, I would work on it for an hour, two hours. And I wouldn't make it maybe but 10 feet because it was so thick. But the thing was, I would never stop while I'm cutting and getting hot and sweaty and tired and look back and see what I did. Never once. Wouldn't do it to myself because it would discourage me from where I'm going. I know what's at the other side of that. It was a clear pond and what I wanted it was my vision. It was the happiness that I saw. Neighbors, people walking by, they thought I was crazy. Crazy for that month. When it all got done, my neighbor helped me with his tractor to get all the dead ones that I already cut out of there. And a week later, the pond filled all with water. I never got so many congratulations. It looks phenomenal. I thought you were crazy, but I couldn't see the vision that you had. I couldn't see the outcome that you knew was there. I knew the beauty that was there. It was in front of me. The only obstacles that were there was my mindset. That's the only obstacle. Just had to put in the work. But what immensely would have destroyed me, because there were times, let me tell you, there were times I'd work on it for an hour after having a 12, 16 hour day. I'd work on it for an hour and I'd get done and I'd be like, it barely makes it look like I went anywhere. But I didn't let it discourage me because I was looking forward. I would think that for a second, a split second and say, man, I didn't make it very far. But then I look about, hey, look where I started. It's farther than I was. It was growth. Now, I don't have any. That first year after there, there was a little cattails that would pop up here and there, and I had to make a custom little cattail remover tool. And as they popped up, I cut them out. It was a progress. And it's just the same way with just cutting those people out of your life. Every time you look back, every single time, you're going to hurt yourself in forward progression. Anybody, anybody can tell you that, that has had massive personal growth. You are going to lose so many people in your life, so many people that are going to come in and out of your life, your whole life. Some people are going to come and go, some people are going to come and stay, but it's fine. It's only the people that are going to be with you on your journey, the people that support you to where you're going. If you don't want to do something anymore and your friends still do that, they should be the ones supporting you saying, that's awesome, I'm great with you. 
you know, supporting you on your journey or joining you on your journey. That is a friend. Whether they believe in it or not, they don't have to join you, but they can support you. So many of you getting acquaintances and friends mixed up. You're keeping on to people that shouldn't be in your life anymore. And that's because you look backwards. You look in the rearview mirror. You look in the past and see all the good times that you had. That's great. You had great, awesome, fun times. Let those memories be where they are. That was a previous aspect of you. That was a previous life. That was a previous you. You had those great memories. Now it's time for you to grow and grow and make new memories. You can't have growth by holding on to the past. There's not one NASCAR driver, any kind of racer, that wins a race by looking in the rearview mirror. It's because they only have time to worry about what's in front of them. And they take their eyes off that road for one second, they look behind them, that's an opportunity to crash. That's an opportunity to stumble. That's an opportunity to fail. That's an opportunity to come to a stop. And there's a lot of times you don't do that. There's a lot of times you look back and everything's fine. But you got lucky. There's a lot of times people get lucky. They look in the rearview mirror. But you're not going to be lucky every time. Some of those times are going to get you caught up. Some of those times are going to make you slip. And some of those times you're going to crash and burn. Like we always say, only, only when you become strong enough mentally, physically, with your mind, your body, your soul, everything, when you became so clear on where you're going and nobody can hinder you, that is when you can take a time to reflect, look back, see how far you've come, say, awesome. I'm gonna go hit it for another year and look back again and see how far I've came again. You've already been in the past. You've already lived in the past once. You don't need to live there anymore. All you're going to do is hurt yourself. You're going to hurt your future self. And anybody that's with you that's trying to grow with you, build with you. And a lot of those people that are waiting for you on the other side that you haven't even met yet, that you haven't been with, they're going to help you and grow you to your version of a C9 life. And I pray you guys don't let your past hinder you from that C9 life that you all deserve. But during those times, think, be, stay positive. TBS. Every single day in every way. Make sure you share these videos, like these videos, get them out there, tag people, everything that you got to do to help spread this. So many people need to hear these messages. Remember, IOG. I offer greatness. Every single one of you guys offer greatness. But your greatness is in front of you. Your greatness isn't behind you. Because the greatness is yet to come. There ain't nothing back there but hurt. Until next Wednesday, guys. Stay humble. Stay hustling. I love you.